Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, if you're going to have a baby, might as well hit a homer and swing the bat well. But, yeah, I think we're excited for him and Lauren. And, you know, knew that today was coming, but, uh, you know, just send good wishes out to them for tonight. Chelsea, we got the uh, Swaggerty news or the heads up. Did you were, were you able to see any of him to make his assessment? I know it was brief and he was only ramping up throwing. Yeah, I mean, take out of that? I mean, just seeing him swing the bat a little bit. We needed to get him into games. That's why we got him out. I mean, with the shortened spring training, uh, we just don't have that many DH at bats, and he has the ability to DH. So it, the big thing was getting him out and getting him healthy and making sure that you know we could start. He started on a throwing program, but to be able to get at bats just to kind of ramp up because in a three-week spring training, it's hard to it's hard to get at bats for someone that uh, you know is not able to play the field right now. Is there a timetable for in terms of his throwing progression? Right yeah, I will build it up. I mean, but I think we're planning on being ready for opening day. Chelsea, just want to get your impression on uh, what you saw from Henry Davis. I know it was brief, but um, you got a chance to see him whether working out or in the game. Yeah, I was able to spend a little time down here before you know we started Major League Camp to be around him a little bit. Strong kid, uh, likes to lead. I mean, a lot of positive things about him. It's ball hard, you know. And again, you know, when you have a kid that is in camp and he's an NRI and it's a it's a short look. It was a short, impressive look, but we needed to get him out to play. Going back to a play from yesterday, Andy Rodriguez snagging the liner and darting towards the runner that was off base and being able to dive. And it, was, it would be a great play for anybody, nevertheless, someone that's primarily a catcher. And just kind of your overall thoughts on his overall versatility, not just at first base, but playing all around the diamond as well. Yeah, I mean, we talk about versatility and be able to play places. And, you know, if you can play short and play places, it's really really beneficial but if you can catch and play other places and he plays first like a first baseman he plays the outfield like a first or like an outfielder and and that's a really positive thing he's uber athletic and when you're that athletic and you swing the bat like that i think that's why he was the mvp of the league down here jt looked like the slider is pretty much in mid-season form already whenever it's working it's you know one of the best pitches you got on staff what needs to click for him to you know maintain that over a full year uh, well i think continue to execute the slider like you said i mean it is a good pitch uh today he executed it he threw it to the zones when he wanted to uh it's being able to keep it off the middle of the plate and up and i think today was a really first you know good sign for for jt he moved down the wall, ball he moved down the mound well the ball came out of his hand wet but the slider was good today Greg Allen had a couple of another you know, nice at bats today. He draws the walk, gets hit by the pitch, but also has that nine pitch plate appearance as well, albeit one that ended in a ground. Now, just what have your impressions been of the plate appearance that he's had so far? Really solid at bats. You know, I mean, I joked with him that I didn't think he could score from first. That's why we pinch ran, <laughs> pinch ran him with Mitch, but uh, really consistent at bats. You know, he, the first impression of watching him with all the work that he's done on his swing over the last probably year and a half has really kind of resonated. And again, it's not in spring training, it's not just the walk, it's the nine pitch at bat. It's being able to grind through, being able to foul pitches off. And he really looks on balance. Go ahead. Listen, you moved out Swagger today, but you still got the, you know, two of the guys you added, two of the officers you added, the 40 minutes, Swinsky, Smith and Jigba are still here. Have you seen anything from those two guys or, or even met Cal Mitchell and Oliver? That makes you think that maybe later on down the line, if you guys need an outfielder, you'd feel confident reaching down there to get one of those guys? Yeah, I think these guys are going to have impact on us in Pittsburgh. And, you know, I don't know how soon that's going to be, but they're good young players. And we've seen, you know, really positive things with, with Cal. You know, had seen him before a little bit. Jared mm -hmm. had seen him before uh, with Swinsky and, and uh, Kanan. Saw Kanan a little bit last year, getting to see Jack for the first time. Overall, really good impression. I mean, guys we've we've drafted or guys we've acquired, and and I think they're going to have impact on us, and you know we're going to feel comfortable putting them out in the outfield. Chelsea, about JT, uh, he talked about how last year he used to sometimes get a pitch or two ahead of himself instead of just focusing on the moment. What was it like to have you seen signs of him maybe kind of improving in that area in particular? Yeah, I think it's just maturation. You know, with young pitchers. They make a good pitch and then they're worried two pitches down the line instead of worried about what the next pitch is and how they're going to execute it. And it's one of the things we've challenged him on. And I think as we continue to see him grow, it's something that we're going to see him improve on. Did you uh, check in on your Hori's live BP today? Or? Yeah, I saw the first part of it. Donnie saw the rest of it. Everything was really good. Probably not enough time, though, for him to... I think we'll wait and see. I mean, I, I mean, with everything that happens as we go into the buildup, we'll kind of see where we're at with him. But really encouraging today for the first time. You think we'll see Hoy soon, or is he is he getting closer to being ready? Parker, yeah, I think we'll see him probably in the next two or three days.